everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Gesturement Pro and how to set it up in AUM. Um, how to set it up in AUM to get it to play your AUM synth. It's, it's really quite easy. Uh, there's nothing nothing too complicated about this. It's just MIDI routing. Um, so Gesturement Pro is an interrap audio app. Here it is here. And at the moment it is playing the drums to AUM and it's playing everything you're gonna hear it's playing these two pure synths playing Lagrange and that's all it's doing at the moment so I'm just gonna fade these in let you have a listen to this and then we shall set it up from scratch so you can see exactly what you need to do So that was all Gesturman Pro playing your AUV3s, right? So let's do this from scratch, shall we? Let's go back to AUM. Because there are a couple of things that you need to do. So what we're going to do is we're just going to clear this. I'll, I'll just save it again, just in case. Overwrite the session, right? Okay, and then we'll go clear. So now we're in a, a, a completely blank state. Now, first thing to do, we can close AUM for now as well, actually. Close AUM. And we shall actually, I think I've just, I'm, I'm going to open Gestman Pro and it'll open up the session that was just playing in AUM. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap up here and go initialize. So we've got a blank project inside gesturement okay and i'm going to title this i'm going to save it and call it um aum session two i mean call it whatever you like um so the, the key thing to remember here with is with gesturement is when you want to use it as an au uh, in aum with interrap audio is open gesturement first otherwise it won't work properly I don't know, maybe it's because it's really old, but you know, you don't just need to open it first. So open Gestman Pro in standalone first, like this, and it'll let you, then you can load whatever your project you like. It doesn't matter. That's a done deal. And then 
open up AUM like this open an audio channel tap the little plus button go down to inter app audio and open gesturement and now if you open gesturement now from inside AUM it will be the project AUM session 2 that you opened in standalone it'll all look fine and you will see the little AUM logo at the top you can tap on this open this and jump back into AUM okay so that's the first thing to do what we're going to do is first of all we're going to add some drums so we're going to do it slightly differently so i am going to add an audio unit now so and i'm going to add fac drum kit now i happen to know that fac drum kit reads if i connect this to my uh, little midi says midi input i'm going to connect the key step here and go down So I think the FAC reads from about C2 to e, E3. So this is important. And this is this is where, if we go into gesturement now, we, it, where it says instrument A, we're going to long hold that and it will open up the um, instrument uh, controls for instrument A. Uh, if you like we did in the, in the video but now we're controlling something else now if we scroll all the way to the bottom here you will see midi channel one you can set this to midi any midi channel you like okay but this is midi channel one and this is what we're going to set our drums to so we go back into AUM tap on the toaster icon above the instrument that we want to control and where it says midi inputs tap on this go down to here where it says channel filter, click none and then select channel one. So the FAC drum kit is only gonna receive MIDI from whatever's thrown out on channel one. Okay, so otherwise it'll start to play other channels as well and we don't wanna be doing that. Okay, so set your channel filter for the instrument you want gesturement to control and match it with the channel number that you have set in gesturement. So in our case, to keep things simple, MIDI channel one for FAC drum kit. And if we go into gesturement, MIDI channel one. Now at the moment, you're not gonna hear, um, you're not gonna hear FAC because of the range. So where it says pitch generated, this is, you can set the pitch range here. And what did I say? That the maximum pitch, so was gonna be uh, e3 I think so we'll go down to e3 like this I think it's e3 so I'm gonna sec just have to do it like this there we go e3 and the minimum pitch we want is c2 I think it's c2 well you can adjust this to Suze it doesn't really matter so c2 right now So the range is right. So let's go back to here. Now we want to be going back into our toaster icon. You could have done this the right way around, but you'll see again with another thing. Where it says MIDI inputs this time, select gesturement. So it's receiving MIDI from gesturement, but it's only going to receive on one. Now we'll hear the drums. At the right range. So now what we want to do is we can just lower the volume of the grand piano, the default sound in gesturement. And now you've just got the. But it's not, you don't, this is drums, right? You don't really want to be playing drums legato with nothing else. So when it says here, legato probability, if we take this all the way down, we don't need, I don't want, I don't want one note. So I'm going to take the legato probability all the way down to zero. And now. It's going to go all, the full range of all our notes because we've set it from minimum pitch C3 to maximum pitch E3. You'll see along the top here, one, 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 two, one quarter, one, eight, one, sixteen. This is the resolution.
you can leave that as it is or you can start to take the durations out here i don't really want it playing just on one beat or one half beat so so now gesturement is playing um fac drum kit so let's have a drink i'm thirsty okay so now we can create another instrument so let's do that let's let's do that initially inside of while we're here we'll set up another instrument inside of um oh you can't the duration times by the way you can change them to dotted or triplet but let's just keep it simple you can mess around with that now here's another super 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 important thing at the moment because fac drum kit i'll play this on my midi keyboard um Oh, I can't have disconnected. But F because FAC drum kit is a chromatic instrument, and at the moment we are in a major scale, we need to change the local scale. Okay, so this is the global scale. And if you look here in the pitch generator, you will see scale and it'll say global. We don't want it to be global for the drums, we want it to be chromatic. So I'm going to tap on here. I'm going to then tap on here see where it says local i'm going to tap on there i'm going to have this this one channel just be its own scale and this is what you can do you can change the scale for every single instrument for drums this is perfect so i'm going to go okay i'm going to tap on this and i'm just going to go down here excuse me just a moment <laughs> God, while I sneezed, <laughs> excuse me. Right, and we're gonna find our chromatic. So it's in Western Scales Chromatic. And this is just going to be for the drums. So now you have all the drums. With a, re a resolution of even or either a quarter, an eighth, or a sixteenth. All right, and now we can we can stop that now. We don't need to worry about that because this won't change from being a local a local a local scale. That's set now. It's C4 chromatic. <clears throat> it's fine. Cool. Right. So okay, we'll just tap on this little icon here, and this is where we can add another instrument. So we're going to tap the little plus button here, and we've got two cases now. You see, this one's appeared, and that's going to default again to what it was. So, we're going to long hold on this and open up the instrument controls. Uh, just for now, I'm going to set legato probability at uh, 0%. I'll get into this in a sec. In fact, that, should I show you now? Yeah, let's go back to instrument A just for a sec. The drums. And you can see what it is. It says instrument A. You, you select instruments by long holding. If you just tap them, it will mute them. So long hold to get to the instrument. When it says legato probability, like I said before, this now, the drums. Is following the resolution that we have set, but we can we can alter that. We can either have it not. Or we can have it kind of. Random, and that's quite nice for drums. Now, there's another way to program your your thanks Stephen brilliant thank you very much um an another way you can program your drums is, is by hitting pulses over here where it says rhythm generator and choosing pattern and now you can just tap on this and then you can program kind of patterns for your drums So that's another way to do it if you wanted to. We're gonna stick with pulses. And now we're gonna do with um, adding another instrument. So remember, long hold, 
on this. Now, <coughs> excuse me, just one sec again. Gosh, I'm, 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 I'm getting, I think I'm getting a cold. Right, anyway, instrument B, instrument B, long hold to select it and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see it's automatically assigned to MIDI channel two. Again, you can set this to anything. You could put it onto number one and now this will, well, it won't because we'd need to set the range, but that would play the drums. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We're going to set this to MIDI channel two. All right. Instrument B, MIDI channel two. So keep it straightforward because that session I did before was, was kind of having all sorts of different things going on, but I'm going to show you as well, which is an awesome way to use gesturement. We'll, we're getting ahead of ourselves, so I am. Instrument two, I'm going to go back to AUM now and open another channel audio and choose an instrument. Well, this time I'm going to choose uh, something that might be good for bass, I suppose. Um, I, I, I think in Synthmaster 2, there are some really nice bass patches. Now I've got my little MIDI keyboard here that I'm going to use first just to find a patch that's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to connect it up to the key step and there we go. I'm going to go into it here, open it up. But like I said, this is a total personal preference. You can, I'm just going to select bass and go and kind of find some bass sounds. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's a nice bass sound. And we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. We're going to filter our MIDI channel for this. So again, at this point, we can just attach it to Gesture 2 while we're here. I can take it off the key step now because I already like the sound. Okay. Then I can carry on scrolling down and then when it says channel filter, I'm going to go off at none and then just select number two. And now Gesture will be playing Synthmaster 2. You see how easy this is. Once you kind of get into it, you go, all oh, right, okay, this is this is cool. So it's open Gesture and no, number two now. see that we have our legato probability at zero that's why it's playing if it was all all the way up we could you can still hear the piano because the piano sound volume is still up now there's probably a way to switch off the kind of local control but <coughs> i don't really want to do that because it might be at some point I want to blend two instruments together, one from gesture, one from an external synth. So just for now, I'm going to turn down the volume of this one. So now we're just hearing. Synth master. And because it's a bass, let's limit the range. So let's go uh, minimum pitch is going to be. C2 and maximum pitch is going to be let's get these down to three C3 so now it's not going to go nowhere okay so it's it's going to be set so Right, awesome. Now let's get get into into the global scales. Remember, we've locked our instrument A into local scale C four chromatic because it's the drums, and we want we want the drums to access be able to access all the drums inside um, FAC. If we start changing the scale, it's going to start playing different notes, and we might not get all the drums that we want. So let's. Let's pick a scale. So let's go into our global scales here and you'll see that this, whatever we set now, this won't change, but it will change on instrument B. So we'll go back to instrument B and we'll see it says global and it's Ionian major, which this is. And we can tap on here 
and let's just choose a minor scale here so we'll leave it in C so and I'm gonna have my legato probability set around 39% so we get some notes just holding it And because it's a bass, I don't want it too busy. So I'm going to, to make my life easier for wherever I want to move this on the screen. Because remember, we've only got one octave range now. We've set the range. We want to be taking out some of the judges. So one one's too slow this. I'm going to take out 116 as well. Now I'm only left with one, one quarter and one eight pulses. Awesome. <laughs> it's really, really good, right? And that. We don't need to record that just yet. We're going to add another instrument. So again, I'm going to do this. This, uh, this time, I'm going to do uh, something for kind of a lead. So I'm going to tap this again like that. Add one cursor here, which is instrument C. I'm going to long hold on this. Just for now, I'm going to set this like this. I'll leave my durations as they are for now for this third, this third case. But it's going to be locked into our minor scale anyway. All right. Um, we're going to go down here and you'll see it says MIDI channel three already. Like I said, you can change this to another MIDI channel if you like, if we, if we selected two. It's going to also be playing synth master we don't really want that let's set it to three let's go back into AUM and let's add another instrument so we want something doing some sort of uh, lead sound maybe so let's use <coughs> excuse me let's use um, pure synth here uh, and again with this I did disconnect this from my key step didn't I yeah I'm going to connect pure, but it says MIDI inputs. I'm going to connect it to the key step for now. And I'm also going to connect it to Gesturement because since Gesturement's not running, you know, so Gesturement and it's going to receive. Remember, we want a bit MIDI input. Sorry, we remember we are on a key step and there's our basic sine wave from pure sin. None and three, so channel three from Gesturement. And I need to reset my key step to channel three. So shift and hold so I can select the sound. So for this sound, we want some sort of kind of, uh, uh, maybe a lead sound, pure is full of brilliant leads. So let's go and check some of them out, shall we? So factor content, uh, leads. <laughs> So maybe a whirly. Let's go with, I'm going to go with something better than that. So I'm going to. That's right, I'll get carried away. Something like um No there's a sound um synth 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 oh. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. This this trumpet sound. 
I'm going to give it a bit of volume. And maybe extra reverb if they've got a switch on here. Actually, I'll just stick a black hole on there, eh? Or an EOS. Very nice. All right, so now we know that our number three. And let's turn our piano sound down. I kind of want this to be less. Um, so for definite, I'm going to decrease the resolution. So I'm going to take off that and that. And I'm also going to take off. I'm going to leave this as a quarter and eighth. And I'm going to take the legato probability all the way up to 100%. So I have to play it. It sounds good. I'm gonna add one more, one more. I have time because I want to show you some cool stuff you can do as well. So with our next instrument, we're gonna open this uh, little icon. This time I'm gonna hit a plus, so I'm gonna add another in instrument D. But this time I'm gonna kind of grab hold of the four and very quickly start to pull it down like this. And I'm gonna pull it down over four more instruments, so from D to G. So now we've got number four being controlled. Any instruments we put in D, E, F, or G are going to be controlled by number four. And you're going to, that piano is going to, let's move that out of the way. It's going to sound very loud because it's four pianos playing at the same time. Okay. We don't, we, we don't want that. We're going to go in like this. So long hold to open it. And you'll see that it's set it MIDI channel number four, which is what we want. We're going to long hold E. And you'll see it's set it MIDI channel number five. Don't want that. That wants to be on four as well. We're going to long hold F. That's going to be set on MIDI channel six. We want it on four. Long hold G. Take this down. And we put this back onto four as well. So now these four instruments are going to be sending MIDI out on MIDI channel four to MIDI channel four. Right away, we can start turning volumes down for all of these as well. So, volume. Du -du -du -du. And the last one, oops, I've muted it. This one, volume. Okay. Now, there are some other things we're going to do, but we'll do them after I've added the instrument in. Okay. You'll love this. I did this the other day as well, but you know, ah, but, but it, this is it, it. You think they think the madness, but this is gesturement, and it just. But we're gonna add. We're gonna add a cool pad sound. So number four, you're not gonna hear nothing now. We need to go back into AUM here and add another instrument. So we've got four MIDI channel, four four instruments now. I'm gonna add another pure synth audio unit extension. Pure Synth Platinum, I'm going to add that in, okay? This time, I'm going to make sure that my MIDI input is for the key step so we can find the sound. I'm also going to select Gesturement because it doesn't matter because Gesturement isn't playing or doing anything at the moment. I'm going to hold Shift on my key step and choose MIDI Channel 4. And there's our sine wave again, right? So what we need to do now is go into here and obviously we're going to find a sound. I'm going to open up the browser here and I'm going to go down to create atmosphere, which is a, 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 a um, IAP. And I'm going to find. Right, so. Maybe this. Now 
that this really nice piano. And this is where this is where Jessman starts to be able to do stuff there's just nothing else can do. So there's a really nice piano sound. I'll just give it a, a little bit of a boost. Okay. All right, so we know that this, right? We need to make sure MIDI inputs, we need to go non and select channel four. So we filtered it out now to channel four. Okay, so awesome. We now know that this is gonna be a very loud piano because it's playing four of those instruments, right? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this up for each of these different instruments so it's gonna sound super cool. So first of all, I'm gonna set different timings for each of these. So first for this, for the first one, instrument D, I'm gonna limit the range to one quarter and one eight. I'm also going to, let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna limit the pitch as well. And I'm going to, don't need to worry about the volume. I can control that with pure. I'm going to turn the probability down as well. And then I'm going to go to instrument E here, which we know is the same. It's another one going to that instrument, right? So this is where you need to pay attention. Reduce the probability a bit. This time I'm going to leave that at 1, 8 and the 16th. I'm going to go to my maximum pitch, just shift these around a little bit, maybe have that lower. Now, here's where I'm going to start to play around. I'm going to have this shift, uh, transposing scale up three semitones. It's transposing in scale. You cannot go wrong here. Now I'm going to change the timing to dotted. That's the second one. Go to the third one. This time I'm going to leave it uh, one quarter, one sixteenth, and I'm going to set that as triplet. I'm going to reduce the legato probability a lot <laughs> and increase the pause probability maybe a little bit as well. Then I'm going to... Um, Increase the range on that one and decrease it on the minimum. Actually, no, I'm going to increase the minimum as well and increase the range. I'm going to transpose this in scale up uh, uh, seven steps. Still got one we can play. You can add more of these if you want to just drag that down further. But what we're going to do with this one is switch them off have these at one eight uh maybe one eight this might be interesting one eight dotted and then on the second part one eight triplet legato probability maybe 42 percent velocity will lower because it's a piano it might sound nice we can make a velocity adjustment as well um other ways if you wanted to uh, maximum pitch I'm going to leave that the same I'm going to transpose this down in scale four and now this one I'm going to change from now so we've got our four instruments our four midi let's record 
let's start to record some stuff in so for, let's put on um, uh, let's open this up let's put on our metronome so we can hear what's going on um, because I need to be doing this with uh, with my with my loop. So if I just wanted it to hold, so like this, I could just press hold. Maybe that's something you would like instead of. I'm just going to hold that. very cool very cool so what else can we do well we have all our scales that we can change here so I've just put this onto this now Let's... notice the drums won't change because if you remember right at the very beginning we locked the drums into our local scale so there you go now uh what we can do now is change these scales up so like at the moment it's c4 so let's long hold here and we get the same access here but now we're being able to snapshot these scales okay so uh, let's open this now and maybe so we're on a minor let's go to some western scales and maybe do a i don't know a thanks kenny a harm uh, no let's do a major uh, let's do harmonic minor with this one okay so there's that so we've got two now and then let's go to this one and maybe choose something a bit more way out there uh maybe we could go into world music oh no, no there's some they, they are way out alternative scales maybe a clear de lune one which is a scale based on the midi file of clear de lune yes you can do that you can import your midi files and have them play um so there's that one raw so we've done that um let's just see how that sounds okay so the, it's going to sound a bit weird because the clear de lune is in g4 but we could actually go in and change that back down to c if we wanted to but let's just see how it sounds shall we so was, you can also loop automate loop these as well as you're holding loop you can choose when these change and then you're free to let them do their own thing let's just play it and see what it sounds like doesn't 
sound too bad? Yeah, should we slow it down, Raider? That's a good idea. to notice is because we've got our pure synth here our pure synth ambient thing on a hold and not a loop we can oh thanks thank you thank you very much uh, we can move this around and just leave it do its thing I'll turn a metronome off now sounds quite good <laughs> All right, let's, let, yeah, let's just for fun, <laughs> let's choose another scale. And let's go and see what we've also got in, what they've brought in, in some historical scales. Uh, what's us see, let's see, let's see, let's see, fair release. Let's try that one. So that's a MIDI file of fair release, so. This is now that you can just go in and you can blend instruments in as well if you wanted to. So playing the drums and the drums are locked to chromatic so for instance if we wanted to do something cool with a change of sound there you go I uh, hope you found that helpful I tried to explain this as clearly as possible as we went along from scratch sort of thing you can always jump back to various bits of the video if you if you weren't sure of, of course if you have gesture gesturement I think you gesturement is free and then there's oh yeah I think it's free to try some bits and pieces has a ton of its own instruments but like I said this was a, we did that the other night this is using it in AUM. Um, I think it's you can subscribe, but it's one of the best subscriptions. Uh, it's one pound forty nine p a month, and you get the full thing. Or, or you can buy it outright for sixteen pounds ninety nine p, which is also good. I think for this, but it does a lot, you know. Anyway, there you go. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks guys for the super chats. M most helpful, truly. Um, 
I am going to wait, have a mess around with the session uh, for a few minutes while you, uh, I think there's an IP to unlock the whole thing too. Yes, yes, sixteen ninety nine, Kenny. Yeah, sixteen ninety nine buys buys it buys Gestman. It's old. It hasn't been updated for a while, so I don't know if they're going to do anything more with it. But you know, you can. The thing with the subscription is you can subscribe, and then if you don't like it after a month, you cancel your subscription. You know, it's, it's easy. Anyway. But I think that's a good subscription price. I don't think you're going to notice that sort of thing. Thank you. Thanks, Robert. I hope it helped. I hope it helped to make you uh, make a decision. And I hope your bread turned out well as well, mate. I really do. Um, right. Okay. So I'm going to play the session a little bit. We'll go back into um, AUM. And we'll kind of lower some of these instruments down. Uh, should we start with the drums? and just fade them in and out and stuff you know just for fun so awesome stuff yeah it's not it's 16 pounds 99 19 euros yeah so oh thanks carter brilliant thank you um so yeah uh we'll be back tomorrow evening with some more uh, madness <laughs> and uh who knows who knows but yeah awesome and yeah what can you say? Works great, doesn't it? No, we had no crashes, no no epic fails, anything like that. It just kind of worked. Nice. Okay, see you guys later. Ta -da.